Hello. I've got a couple of dolls and parts here. Um, so this is my um, nappy doll Carol on a Volks body, which is kind of the original body it was advertised for. So the head was only sold by itself. And you'll notice I have the long legged version here. You can always tell the difference. If you're not sure if you're looking, if you're just looking at a body by itself, you're like, is it a long legged version? If you look at the shins, the long leg has a curvier shin at the very end there. And then the regular leg is very straight. So that's an easy way to tell if you're just looking at one or the other in a photo. Um, but the reason I got this one, which is the Yomidi version, because you can kind of tell by the default hands are a lot chunkier, is my other Carol, which is right here. His name is Bolin, is going to be getting this body. Um, I, the body that he's on right now is actually the body he came with. He was an interesting buy. Um, I actually just thought the i was getting the head in the purchase so this was kind of an international purchase from a owner in china so the translation of the listing was a little difficult for me i really wish i knew chinese uh, it's a cool language um but yeah i'm forgetting the name of this body oh dear huijing i think i'll see if i can list it in the um, post afterwards in the description of the video. But yeah, I'm going to be undressing him, trying his little melon on this body, and just kind of seeing the comparison. This body is already tall, so I figured the long leg version would be a good um, switch over. And I'll kind of talk about why I'm switching from this to this as I go through. So time to undress this little lad. I'm going to be taking off his wig. I made this, um, you can see the progress of it in a previous video, but it's time to get him bald. Oh dear. Um, when you make a wig, this tends to happen because it's so form fitting, you'll kind of lose the head cap in there, but <laughs> that's okay for now. I can fish it out later. Um, take his little accessory off. Which is like a little bottle. I think I'll take his melon off now before his clothes. Okay, dokey. So, nappy dolls have a very small opening for the S hook, so they always need a tiny S hook that hopefully doesn't get swallowed into the body, or whichever body you have them on. <laughs> They're definitely a company that never really came out with any bodies, just heads. Um, I think it's a collection of four artists. Um, Yurio, hopefully I'm saying that right, is the one that designed or sculpted these two. This one was actually originally a sleeping face that's been modded open. And it was released, I think, about a year after this one, starting in 2015, and I think... 2016 for this one. Pretty sure that's it. Okay, so here is the body. So, 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 let's do a little bit of a comparison and I'll talk about why I'm thinking about using this one over this one. Um, so, first is just kind of the look of the joints um, and the overall look of the body. Um, so, especially the hand size, I find this body's hands are so tiny, so teeny tiny compared to any USD that I have, and I don't really like showing them off, <laughs> unfortunately. Same thing with the toes, not that I'm really looking, not that I take a lot of doll feet pictures, but the fingernails really, uh, they freak me out. It almost looks like they don't have fingernails because they're so deeply embedded, like someone pull them out. Oh goodness. Versus here, which is just this very light, bubbly looking <laughs> Oh, that's such a strange sentence. But yeah, I just kind of like the look, overall look. I like the 
I just like how these joints move despite how limited they are. Um, there's just something really easy for my hands to move this body around, which is what I experienced with this one. Um, this one, um, I think it can do some really good stuff despite the the hand the um this being kind of awkward so you you know you try to move the hand and you're like oh wait I can't do what I was inherently thinking it would do you have to kind of think about it and then engage it and then move it into place and like this range of movement is more so than this one here but you'll notice how fast and smooth that was compared to what I had to do for this one. And it's a very minute thing, but it just kind of saps a little bit too much of my energy <laughs> when I'm moving them around. And I do fear that this will snap. Just my own natural way of moving. Um, also, these knees are very strange. So you'll notice that you can't just naturally move it into place. You have to pull it out like so. And then it only goes like three fourths of the way, I guess, or three quarters. Not sure how to phrase that, but um, which is the exact same for this single joint, which is super duper easy to engage. You know, and that's makes a very big difference when they have clothes on. This is like in shorts impossible i also just don't like the shape of the leg there's something i don't know something something i kind of want to think of like green beans green bean legs <laughs> um they actually have about the same length of leg which is interesting. So it's kind of like a long legged. Well, this one's shorter. But yeah, I don't know. I just, I just don't like using it. I guess it comes down to it. I think this body was very popular at one point. I do see a lot of dolls with it on the secondhand market. And I think it does pose well and stand well. But for me, Aesthetically, it's just not what I enjoy or enjoy moving. So, hopefully, my nappy doll head can fit on this and look okay. So, let's try that out. Wow, wow, wow. That already feels a lot better, I think. And very cute. So, time to get him back all dressed. This shirt is very nice. Super easy to put on. I really do like the design of this where it's like just the Velcro here. Um, I think it like, so normally the Velcro has like another, the fabrics on the back of the Velcro too, but that makes it like super thin that they have it. But yes, so there he is. I get his new meaty claws out. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh no, wait, they're too meaty. The Volk's hands can actually come off too, so I could have taken them off before I put them on these sleeves. But there we go. Yes. Wow. Look at his big meaty hands. <laughs> okay, so time for his little wig here. Oh, hmm. Let's get that back situated correctly. There we go. Yeah, not bad. Wow, look at those big hands. <laughs> I'm too excited about that. So 
Yeah, there he is. Oh, that's so nice. So cute. And whoop, I'll have to redress his sister in a little bit. But for now, take a closer look. The reds and match isn't too bad. It's honestly, oh my gosh, look at the difference <laughs> in hand size. That's wild. Um, yeah, the resin match is pretty much the same, regardless of if I use this or this body. So, happy there. Oh, look how cute. Oh, yes. And then back we go with this. tends to be his signature accessory. Wow. Anyway, thanks for following along with this little switcheroo, and I hope you have a good day. Look at how cute. Oh, look how.